Hi guys, Jenny here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Kitaholic kits using the January kits. So these are full of the uh, Kaiser Craft uh, Blessed collection and um, I very nearly used that gorgeous floral as a background paper. Um, I'm very much considering it at the moment, um, but I don't. I felt like it was probably in the end a little bit too overwhelming, but I do bring a large portion of it in. Okay, so I'm going through the pattern papers anyway. I've got this cut file here. It's one of the exclusive cut files for the month of January for Kitaholic Kits. And I'm just pulling out patterns that I want to back it with. And I'm going to bring in some vellum just to tone it down a little bit and add a bit of softness because there's, um, while a lot of these patterns are very delicate and pretty, they are very busy. So the vellum's going to aid in kind of softening a few things up. So here I am thinking these are probably the papers I'm going to use to back it. Um, but first, my first layer of hearts, the smaller ones here, I'm going to back with vellum. So I'm just basically placing a little bit of glue around the heart, popping it on the vellum. I'll trim off some of the excess, I'll just let it dry. And then I'm going to go around and do the rest and then I will trim them up properly uh, once they're all backed. So there we go, that's all done. Um, and now I'm going to work on my second layer of hearts. So I'm just deciding whether I actually want to use that floor as a background. Um, and this is where I think I decided no, I will go with white and I end up backing the entire um, cut file in the end with that gorgeous floral um, so that it, it appears on all four of those largest um, hearts. So I'm just backing the second one, it's basically the same process as the uh, vellum but I'm making sure not to put glue around the top piece of that first vellum heart if that makes sense. That means that I can um, pop a little bit of adhesive foam at the top and kind of add some dimension within those layers. Okay so I'm just going to trim some of the excess off and go about finishing back in the cut file. So there we go it's all done. You can see I've used that pattern on the larger hearts and I've got two of this print. I haven't been able to use it. It's gorgeous but I haven't been able to cut into it and um, because I got the paper add-on kit as well so I've got two of them so here I am thinking okay I'm going to use white but I want to bring in more of that gorgeous floral so I am going to cut off an inch off two sides of my white cardstock and then I'm going to gut this floral because I don't want to waste it um, I'm just going to leave it with a one inch border frame around the edge and that's going to frame my entire layer so I'm just tidying it up my trimmer do a very good job. So there we go. I've got my white cardstock. So now I've got a half an inch pattern border around my white cardstock. So I'm just going to place it down some ATG. I didn't think it out very clearly. I probably should have used tape, but wouldn't have bunched like that. But never mind. Just using some tape, run along that inside edge where the white cardstock meets it, and there we go. I didn't make you watch me. Uh, fumble with all of that. Okay, so here we are. I put my cut file back in, and I've decided I'm going to pop it left bottom justified. And I wanted to bring in a little bit of mixed media. Um, it's not exactly <laughs> um, anything technical, um, but it was fun to do, and it breaks up the white cards up back to ground. So I've just used a pencil to kind of mark roughly um, where that cut file is going to be. And I've got some Vicky Booten paints. These we got in a mixed media kit. Um, a few months back and I found that three of the colours actually matched perfectly with this collection so I've got a light pink, a darker pink and that lovely minty aqua kind of colour um, so I'm just popping a little bit on a bit of plastic packaging adding a bit of water and then making splatters around the edge where my cut file is going to um, meet the white cardstock and that's going to add some really lovely kind of like confetti style pops of colour on that white cardstock just to break it up so I'm just going along with the dark pink now Just splattering it all around and I'll clean it up and I'll just use that lovely aqua colour and add a bunch of water just so that it's a thin enough consistency to add splatters so I'm going in with that green greeny blue I think it was called Hawaiian blue <laughs> I'll clean that up and then I'm going to bring in some of my beloved gold Liquitex acrylic ink and do some splatters with that 
as well, just around the same areas. So quickly do that and tidy up my mess. And now it's all dry and I can pop my cut file back in place. And it's pretty. I love the look. Um, it just kind of breaks up that white cardstock. Add some pops of colour. Okay, so I'm going to adhere my cut file down to the background. Just using some ATG tape. And I'll do that last one. I've purposely made it hanging off the edge. I love it when cut files kind of hang off the edge. It feels like they're really cemented and kind of interacting with the background. Um, makes them feel very much a home on the layout, not as if they're just kind of stuck on the page. Um, yeah, so I'm popping some adhesive foam squares behind all of those larger hearts, and then I'm just coming in with some thin foam tape and popping it on the top of those vellum ones just so that you can't see it behind the vellum. And there we go, they're all kind of just gently popped up off the page. I'm going to trim off the excess of that cut file. Now I can bring in my photos, the photos of Addison, my daughter, and my grandmother. I love my grandmother. <laughs> She's one of my favourite people in the world. Um, so I thought this would be a nice uh, layout for a photo of the two of them uh, together. So I'm backing with that dark pink print. I love the colour of that pink, so I wanted to bring in more of it. And then I'm going to bring in that floral um, pink paper just to kind of echo that behind the photo. And then I popped it on the centre and felt like it was missing a little something. So a little white going on so I decided to back it again with some white cardstock and that's going to give it a really thin nice white frame and really help to kind of combine it with the layout you'll see as I pop it back it really differentiates it it feels like it's a part of the layout but that white border just helps to make it quite cohesive with the cut file um, so yeah okay I'm going to add some adhesive foam just behind the center of that photo because those little hearts around the top and bottom are propped up so they're kind of supporting the photo there and now I can start the fun bit which is embellishing so I'm just pulling out bits that I think I can add I don't want to add too much I don't want to take away from the photo or the cut file I really want things to kind of stand on their own and so I had a quick look through some of the bits that we had in the stash and we had some pack of wood, wood veneers these are from Kaiser Craft so I'm going to bring them in I didn't want to use <coughs> the wood grain finish. Um, so I'm going to use those acrylic paints again and I'm going to paint two layers of each colour. I just used the light pink and that um, Hawaiian blue. And I'm going to do two layers of paint on each of those butterflies. And then I'm going to add some splatters of some gold Liquitex acrylic ink on top just for a little touch of sparkle. I'm just adding some bigger splatters there. quickly doing that and then I'm just going to give it a quick dry with my heat gun I've just popped them to the side just to make sure they do dry properly and I'm going to bring in a few little die cuts as well um, I've used all the florals but that's okay <laughs> I didn't need florals on this layer I'm just pulling out some pieces that could work as a title so we've got blessed and um, thankful to have you and here we go I'm trying to get florals on I quickly put it back though deciding that it doesn't need to be there um, so I'm just continuing to look through and I had these little hearts that were on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet so I'm going to cut off a few of them and just kind of lay them around the place so they're continuing the hearts that are in the cut file so I'm just trimming them so that they're nice and round just lowering them I'm going to have two up the top I'm going to bring a couple down there and then I'm going to end up adding two to the top left of the photo and then we've got a nice triangle going there that's kind of drawing your eye around the page I'm going to prop up one in each of those clusters on adhesive foam and just placing a little bit of glue behind the ones that are adhered directly to the page this one's going to be propped up on foam. Okay, I'm going to adhere this little thankful to have you label down and then I'm going to prop up the blessed on some adhesive foam. So 
that I can layer it nicely on top of that little banner. And then I'm going to adhere down my photo. Pop that back in place. And I'm going to bring in another little banner. I wanted to bring something up this top right hand corner. It was quite empty and the balance was a little bit off. There's too much weight going down at the bottom. So if I bring a little bit up it just kind of balances out the page a little. So I've got this little banner that says you make my days brighter in the pink. So I'm going to bring that up to the top. And I've also found some little die cut row of hearts. I'm going to cut them apart and add one of the darker pink in each of those little heart clusters I've got going on. Just popping it there. And then I'm going to bring in a couple of leaves just for a little pop of interest. So I'm going to tuck them just underneath that we've blessed by the photo. And I'm just looking for something else that I can add up that top right hand corner. So we've got a long sticker with some cute little flowers. So I'm going to layer that there. I've got another little faux washi sticker in pink that I'm going to layer underneath that pink banner. And then that pink banner I'm going to add some adhesive foam just on top that's going to add some layers up there. So I'm just lining that up and I'm hanging it off the edge of the page and I'll cut the excess off. That just kind of brings it right to the edge and cements it onto the layer. So I'm bringing back my butterflies. I've just got to find a place to add them. I didn't want to initially add pink up in that top cluster because I felt like there was too much pink going on but then when I added the green up there I felt like it was dominating that little cluster that was going on and it was drawing your eye too much away from the actual photo so I think I ended up swapping that one out with pink eventually. I'm just trying to get the balance right of the colour in the butterflies around the layout at the moment. So we go add a pink up there, I'm just trying to find the right spot for it where it doesn't look awkward. <laughs> I've got a green one tucked down there. It's looking a bit better. If I, I'm feeling like if I tuck them under those layers a little bit, they're not quite so in your face <laughs> or taken away from the layer. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to glue them down just with a little bit of wet glue. They will stick. Little green one Get tucked in under there. My <clears throat> pink one. And I'm going to use some of the foam gold foiled thickers that we got in the kit and just add XXX down the bottom. I did contemplate bringing more of them onto the layout but decided they would again draw your eye away from the photo. So I've just left them down the bottom. A few little puffy stickers. Um, we've got a little sentiment and I'd bring in a few of the little pink and green hearts just for another texture. So adding a couple of them around each of those clusters. And the texture of that, the butterflies, was a little bit off for me. The wood grain <clears throat> with the paint on it was a little bit funny. So I'm just going to add a layer of glossy accents on top of those uh, butterflies just to finish them up, make them look a little bit tidier. And then that's pretty much it for my layout. So, hope you enjoyed the process. <laughs> um, and... I'll see you guys next time. Bye.